In a country where most Jewish men and women are conscripted when they're 18, many Israelis have come to view enlistment amongst the fast-growing ultra-Orthodox minority as a test for the future character of Israel. One of the most hotly debated subjects of recent years, IDF chief Benny Gantz made headlines when he declared, we need Haredim on the borders and at the bases. But this is not currently the case. Most ultra-religious Jews do not serve in the IDF. But a recent change in the law calls for an end to this. The government aims to increase the number of ultra-Orthodox recruits to 3,200 by 2016, nearly three times the number it is today. One unit, the Nahal Haredi Battalion, is ahead of the curve. From a small unit of 30 soldiers, it has become an IDF battalion of 15 bases with close to 1,000 troops. For the past 15 years, uh, we've been running this organization, which is a, uh, an organization founded by a group of civilian rabbis here in Jerusalem with the goal of uh, uh, providing an environment within the Israel Defense Forces for boys from the uh, Haredi community to be able to serve in the IDF. But what is it like for the men who leave religious homes to serve in one of the most well-disciplined armies in the world? And why would men who believe their role is to study all day choose to serve in a combat unit where death or serious injury is a real possibility? It's part of the Jewish nation in, in Israel. Uh, a very important thing is to defend and to be part of it. Ultra-Orthodox soldiers come with special needs, but Orthodox soldiers also come with special skills. The Nachal Haredi soldiers come with uh, emuna. they come with belief. Military service in a combat unit is challenging and dangerous, but the benefits, both to the individual and to society, can be far-reaching. Thinking back on myself before I went into the army and looking at myself now, totally different people. I know my abilities, I know what I can, what I cannot do. The advancement of the ultra-Orthodox soldier shines a new light on Israel a society where man is as well versed in Talmud as he is with a gun.